Hi everyone, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. I'm way, way better than last time uh, the other videos I recorded. I mean, um, honestly, I feel like a, a good 90%, well, 80, 90% between that. Um, I still cough a little bit. Not that much though. But my voice sounds way better. I could finally talk a little bit louder, which I'm so, so glad. I'm getting my voice back, <clears throat> but I still have a little bit of the cough. It should take me probably a couple of more weeks. Because, yeah, doctor told me that you caught the flu, but then eventually you caught a bacterial infection, you develop a bit of a bronchitis, and you were getting some, a little bit of uh, pneumonia. So... Yeah, there's very like there's still that nasty fluid is still in my lungs, but it's not that much, and I think I uh, treated it on time, or else it it could have gone worse. So, I mean, I literally had to get an inhaler so I could breathe, cause yeah, I could not sleep. Pretty much, I had to. Uh, I would even try uh, sleeping sitting up, but I just couldn't. I would just get dizzy if I just kind of like lay my head backwards. Uh, literally. It would start spinning and it would just make me nauseous. But as soon as with that inhaler, I had to get some drops because my ears were pretty much clogged. So my balance was bad, which was making me very, very dizzy. And then some antibiotics. Man, I slept. <laughs> I slept like a baby. I was just so exhausted. I mean, fever with four days. I really couldn't sleep those four days. And then the other two just vomiting vomiting to the point that you pretty much vomiting your stomach acid yeah it, it was bad but I'm I'm much better so I have more energy to start recording <laughs> uh, I finally caught up to my hair academia I'm gonna watch the episode friend I'm not looking forward to this episode because you know I'm a manga reader so I'm caught up to my hair academia and I know what should happen on this episode but uh, there is a chapter called Friend for um, My Hero Academia. Yeah, yeah, there is one. So I think I know how the episode might end. And I'm very likely we're going to be looking forward to next week's episode. Because there's going to be a particular fight which I'm very, very excited to see. And I'm, I really, really hope they animated very, very good, man. Because, man, I don't want to say too much. So <laughs> let's begin. I still can forget that moment. And this is like a huge turning point for Isuku. I also heard. Oh, those eyes. <gasps> Hold up. I'll press pause to that thought. Oh, they're going back to... They're going to that mansion. Okay. I'm waiting for this moment. He is pissed. But this is... This is a huge turning point for Isuku. He's not wrong though. You all for one. I that moment in the manga literally gave me the chills and it pissed me off. I'm like, I literally yelled the same thing I yell when, especially when he says, You're next. I'm like, you all for one. Oh man, I mean, all for one might be evil, but he does spill out some harsh truths, and you'll see what I mean. Um. 
But on the thought that I was, um, I put pause in it was about Lady Nagan. I heard, well, I read also that uh, Lady Nagan's story got severely edited down. Uh, I guess Horikoshi didn't have enough time to, as you know, they're they're like on a time prescription to to put out weekly and all of that. And I heard her story got like severely edited down, which is very disappointing. I'm hoping they do like a little spin-off of Lady Nagan's uh, story. We see a little bit more more on the dark side of the Hero Society. Uh, I mean, I, I started reading Vigilante. Vigilante. Vigilantes, I think that's what it's called, but I didn't finish it, and I'm like, whoa, this is really, really good. We get to see a little bit more of the Hero Society and those, sadly, that don't fit in a little bit more into that, more into uh, that side that's not really shown in My Hero Academia. So I definitely recommend you reading it. I'm going to do my best to try to start reading, continue reading that one, because I was surprised how good it was. I'm like, whoa. I mean, I think I've read like 15, 20 chapters and I actually enjoy it a little better than My Hero Academia. I mean, that's how good it is. And I have yet to finish it. Because we even get to see a little bit more about um, Aizawa during um, his high school days. Very, very good story. Especially where we learn about uh, Shirakumo and how impactful it was for me to see a little bit of that story animated in my hero academia i did read those chapters because i'm like okay this is pretty interesting so i kind of went a little bit ahead and those chapters shocked me and and once they animated them animate them in my in the fifth season i believe yeah the, yeah the fifth the fifth season i was like man i really need to continue reading uh vigilantes but enough of that, I'm really, really hoping they do a little novel or side story for Lady Nagan. I think Vigilante is ended, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll double check, but definitely they need to do more backstory for Lady Nagan because she's such an amazing character and we need more content about her. But uh, let's continue. Yeah, she's still alive. Barely. No, not a good idea. Not a good idea. Yes. This is why you can't tell any more heroes. But his will got broken. This is why you cannot tell more heroes. That's why. I feel best for Death Arms. He really, really wanted to help, but. Excuse me. I mean, that aren't really wanted to help, but it's true. Sometimes one boo will sometimes overshadow those who are cheering for you. If it's more constant, constant to the point you're you're pretty much worn out. <laughs> Yes. 
Günaydın. God, this is making me teary. Who's watching this? Stain. God, oh, man, that moment really hurt. I literally feel crushed. <sighs> okay, that banner looked way better in the manga. And it's so disturbing seeing the black whips and you realize that he's pretty much using them to to help him walk. Because he can't even walk anymore. You're not fine. And look at that color of his eyes. See? He's pretty much using the black whips to help him walk. Yep. He's even ignoring them too. Someone to protect them. Dude, the voice acting for Isuku, it's so chilling. You could just hear this, the tiredness, the desperation. Now it's that has total different meaning. I love the visual here, you could just see just how tired he is. <laughs> finally, man, finally. <sighs> finally, man. Friend. Wow. Okay, this is the scene I've been waiting for. They're not answering. Ten in bed.
スポンピョいや。No, you don't know anything about that. Cool. He's like all might. Exactly, that's why it's. And now he's all alone. Wow, this is gonna be teary because these chapters are <sighs> man. Oh yeah, the UA barrier. <laughs> Where should see it in the next episode? How much time is left in this episode? I feel like five minutes have passed. <laughs> Say it's your name. <laughs> They worry about you, they care about you. You're not fine. I love Bakugo here so much. He can't even see the, his eyes anymore. Oh. oh, I love this. Are we going to see it? I'm excited for this battle. Ah, come on, damn it. I'm so pissed, man. But I had a feeling they were gonna end the episode that way. Just like how it ended in the manga. <laughs> Preview. Come on.
振り向けばそこに光があること次回に。Thank you, Virgil's class A. God. Wow, this episode, man, it did justice to the manga chapters, especially seeing the bento box scene. God, literally, I felt my heart breaking one more time. That scene was just so sad because, like I said before, the roles is the same scenario as Naira and All Might, how Naira was just so worried about All Might telling him, like, you deserve to take a break, but All Might. Deciding, no, I gotta keep going and look how he ended up. And now it's All Might and Isuku with All Might becoming Night. I worry about him and Isuku that with his unhealthy mindset that he's willing to sacrifice his own body for everyone else, and that's not healthy. And saying that I'm fine, you're not. I mean, I know those words when you say I'm fine, that's why it really, really hurt. And the way they show, although they could have done a little better, maybe a little better, but I, I think they did a phenomenal job. Deku being so exhausted to the point he has to use Black Whip to help him walk. I mean, I didn't notice that detail until I reread the chapter in the manga, and I'm like, holy s, man. You realize just how tired he is. But they did a better job showing. How tired Deku is when you see all the people,、uh, how it looks so blurry, like it's like not really like, like correct, like it's like, like it's almost like fading away. It pretty much we're seeing through Isuku's eyes just how tired he is. They did a good job in there. I was wondering how they're gonna show that scene, and they did it way better than I even imagined. The voice acting for Isuku, showing the emotion, of just being so tired, hopeless, but still worried that he doesn't want to be around those he loves because he could endanger them. So keep keep going, and then ignoring the wills of the previous wielders. This is a very very unhealthy mindset. <laughs> And I love how Bako is like, "Do do your words,、uh, all my wanna be." I remember that quote in the manga, and I'm like, "Yeah, you gotta knock some sense into Isuku." And I'm so so excited for the next episode because that fight, it's pretty amazing. And what comes after that battle? Literally, those chapters in the manga had me in tears because just how. Powerful. What happens in those chapters is just so so powerful. I man, it makes me want to cry one more time just thinking about them. But overall, great great episode. The voice acting, especially for Isuku. God, you you could feel the emotions and all might, and we're seeing Stain in the back, seeing all this happen. I'm very very excited for that chapter as well. Well, that episode, <laughs> great episode. Honestly, I, I can't get I can't get over just how how well executed it was. Although the scene that、uh, you know where they said you wouldn't know he he was a hero, I wish they would have done it a little better. Well, I seen some panels that people had color, making that could look really like a badass and. They did a good job on it, but I, at at the end, the manga it is a little better, honestly. I will have to double check, but <laughs> from what I remember in the manga, it does look a little better. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for the next video. Bye.